Gary's cassette. Gary's cassette. I just hate one of those actors that can't keep an accent or hold an accent. Like really, can you really hold an accent and keep that accent and not be, you know, tacky with it or either corny or, or, or somebody that just, just can't keep an accent or keep their lines good when they're when they're acting in the movie, you know. Sometimes I watch a movie and I just don't like it, you know, because I don't like the scenes. I'm not I'm not the director watching the movie, you know. With me, when I watch a, a movie, I watch those two dollar movies from martial arts film, and when I watch a movie, I sit there and I understand the story. Okay, somebody wants revenge. Okay, something really bad happened. They really want revenge. I sit there and I watch it, and bam, boom, it's done. They get their revenge, and it's the end of the movie. Sometimes it cuts off too early. Sometimes you want to figure out more about the movie, but I just look at it based on the story. Sometimes they're comedy, like Jackie Chan, for example. Gary's cassette. different underscoring in those type of movies. And I like listening to um, all kinds of movies from that era because it's like, um, it's like an old type of sound, you know? And that's what I like listening to. Um, other than that, when I'm watching a movie, I'm watching the movie. I'm, I'm watching the storyline as well. If it's a good story, it's a good story. Nowadays, when people watch a movie, they're like, bam, boom, that's this and that, and they're working with so and such people. and. They disrespect the whole movie just by going out there and expecting something they weren't expecting. They have to understand the story. That's all I'm saying. Other than that, um, when it comes to acting and holding an accent, it's really hard to do when you're trying to hire somebody that really can't do it. Now, Jim Carrey, I'm a huge fan of Jim Carrey. Richard Pryor, I'm a huge fan of Richard Pryor because he knew how to be an actor and he knew how to play a role. Eddie Murphy was my favorite actor out of all of them because he was really well maintained. He knew how to take control of his voice. Now me, when I first made an attempt to control my voice, it, it didn't sound right. But, uh, uh, it doesn't sound right when I try to um, make an accent with my voice. But a lot of people ask me, like, are you from upstate or are you from down south, south or somewhere? You know, I can't even make my words right, right? So when when they ask me this, I'm say I'm from North Carolina because a lot of people from North Carolina sound like they're from upstate, sound like they're from here, there, and you know that's, that's how a lot of, a lot of people sound. Like. When I'm watching the movie, I'm watching the movie, I'm listening to the story, I'm listening to the accents, I'm listening to the stories, the pictures, and how it's seen out. Other than that, that's really what I want to talk about on Gary's cassette. Thanks for watching and have a blessed one.